What's up, brodies? Welcome to The Bourbon Effect. My name is Tunji, and you already know what it is. So let's talk. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about why women don't hit you up or you don't hear from women after the first date. Now, the reasons I'm gonna be giving you are things that I have personally experienced in my life. Over you know, the years, you make certain mistakes during first dates. And, you know, most people will learn from them. Some people will keep doing it and, you know, just never learn. You know, I, I feel like there's some guys even till today who are doing the same shit over and over again. Oh, I'm being super nice to her. I'm giving her everything she wants. She still didn't hit me up. <clears throat> Nigga, did you not learn like the first couple times that women are not always looking for that? You have to learn from your mistakes. And these are the mistakes that I've made and I'm sure other guys have made, but I'm going to be telling you these things so you don't make the same mistake. All right. Now, there's a high chance that even after this video, when I've listed out all the things for you not to do on a first date, a lot of you are still going to do it. And that's OK, because a lot of us prefer learning from experience. We don't prefer, but that's just how we learn a little bit better. You know, you could watch something that could tell you not to do something. You end up finding yourself doing it uh, consciously or subconsciously. Who knows? But some of you may still do it, but it's OK, because if you're not going to learn from the video, you will definitely learn from real life. OK. And the first one on why you probably never heard from her after the first date is you talk too much. Brodies, I'm telling you, one thing that I used to confuse for confidence was talking a lot. I used to think that when I was on dates with women, that the more that I talked, the more confident it would make me seem as if I didn't come off as shy. So I would think that I'd have to keep talking and, you know, saying shit to make myself look more confident. But really, girls don't like that. Men who men talk, who too, talk much. too much. Men who run their mouths and men who are giving it too much. So blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. You got money? Nobody cares. Don't talk to me. And plus, I feel like the more you talk, the more you are giving up the mystery about yourself. Let her do most of the talking. You know, if she, if you want to talk, a lot of times it should be of you asking questions about her. Before you know it, she's probably going to know shit about you. If she starts saying, hey, you know, you ask her a question, she says, what about you? then you can put in your two cents. But apart from that, let her do most of the talking. Women love talking and they love what they love even more is people who are listening. OK. And another thing is that you have to realize that the more that you're talking, not only are you giving up the mystery about yourself, but then also you're trying your best to fill in the space. And by that, I mean, whenever there's silence, some guys will get nervous. I've been a, a, a victim of this myself. I would think that with the awkward silence, it would be like awkward and, you know, she'd probably think that I'm weird or not confident or anything like that, bro. Don't it, it shouldn't matter to you. In fact, when you don't care about filling in that awkward silence, it actually makes you come off a little bit more confident because you don't feel the need to constantly fill in the silence. Sometimes it's OK for it to be quiet, especially when you are on a dinner date. You guys stop talking for a little bit eat your food, you know, just enjoy it a little bit and then be like, yeah, how are you liking your food so far? And, you know, you start the conversation from there again, but don't feel the need to constantly try to fill in the air. OK, so always keep that in mind. Less talking, more listening. Number two, lack of confidence, lack of confidence. I've subdivided into two things. Number one, right? The first one under lack of confidence is lack of eye contact guys do not be on a date with a woman and be so distracted by everything else when you have this fine ass woman in front of you talking to you and you're looking at everything else you think women get ready at home put on their makeup do all this shit for you not to look at them you're going to be looking somewhere else and it, it may not even be because you know obviously she looks good to you but 
making eye contact makes you nervous. And when you're looking in other things, she may not even see it as some, some women will see it as you don't even have that much confidence in yourself to where you can't even look me in the face. What makes a guy seem less confident? When he doesn't look me in the eyes when he talks to me. What does that tell you? That he just basically doesn't feel confident enough to look me in the eyes and say how he feels about me or if he wants to take me out. You know, a lot of times guys are wandering because they're like insecure. Okay, and when a guy's insecure like that, how does that make you feel? That he can never take care of me. <laughs> Other women will see it as, damn, like, am I not attractive? Am I not pretty? He's not looking at me. Is there something up with me? You know, I know some of them will watch this and be like, we don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I know, but that's not the point here. <clears throat> Either way, guys, keep eye contact, okay? Let her know and don't be creepy about it either. Okay, I know I've said this in other videos. Don't be creepy about it. Just listen to what she's saying. Seem attentive and just nod. For me, I like to get in a more nonchalant state. Well, I'll just be like this. Okay. Just smile a little bit. Let her know you're listening. They they, they eat that shit up, okay? <clears throat> so keep eye contact. Uh, number two under lack of confidence is you constantly ask her, is she okay? Are you having a good time? Are you okay? You'll be surprised the amount of times you will ask her this question based off of you just not feeling comfortable or you think that you need to ask her that in order to feel comfortable. But you'd be surprised how many times you've asked that to where someone will just be like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, what? Like, why, why does he keep asking me that? Do I not seem fine? <laughs> like, but it's a nervous like reaction and question that guys tend to do whenever they um, are on a date with women, sometimes they'll just get nervous and then to fill the air, like I mentioned before, they'll be like, hey, you having a good time? Hey, are you okay? Hey, how you doing? Hey, are you fine? Hey, are you okay? Hey, are you? Dude, bro, just shut the fuck up, bro. All right, you should be able to tell by her body language whether or not she's comfortable or not. And if you can tell that she's comfortable, then she's comfortable, but don't overdo it. Don't overlook it. Guys, as a man, you know you're truly confident when you go into a date and you don't feel nervous. You are going into the date knowing that, oh, I'm the one who is vetting her, not the other way around. Guys, I've gotten to a point in my life where when I go on dates now, I am the one who is not nervous. She is the one who is nervous. Sometimes I'll see their body language and I'll just be like, hey, how you feeling? You have everything good? And then they'll be like, yeah, I'm just a little nervous. I'm like, don't be nervous. If anything, I'll try to make sure you're comfortable. But either way, just, you know, enjoy the time and, you know, leave it at that. It's as simple as that, guys. That's where I'm at in my life right now. So the women are, are, are nervous, not me. You know she's having a good time based off her energy. So you don't have to keep asking her. Just let it, leave it be. If she's not having a good time, fuck it, it's whatever. If she's not having a good time, you already know she's probably not gonna hit you back. You can tell by the energy already whether she's having a good time or not, okay? But you don't have to feel the need to ask. Just let it be, all right? Number three, going Dutch. Now, I know you've probably seen a couple of videos on TikTok, YouTube, social media, about women saying they don't mind going 50-50 or going Dutch. Guys, don't believe them. Don't believe that shit. Because those very same women who are saying that they don't mind paying 50-50 or going Dutch, when you ask those women, especially in these YouTube videos, when you ask these women, okay, you don't mind going Dutch, are you gonna contact this guy after you go Dutch, after you pay your half of the date? You know what a lot of them say? No. Okay, so you're you're fine with going Dutch, right? You're fine paying 50-50 for the bill. But then after that date, you're not going to contact the guy anymore. You see how that doesn't make sense? Like the saying goes, you don't ask a fish how to catch a fish. You ask a fisherman how to catch a fish. Simple as that. That'll be the very thing that's going to stop you from contacting the guy, right? Just don't do it, bro. Just don't like. I understand this is what some of them say, they're okay with it, but if you know you do not have the money to pay for the whole date, do not go on the date. Save yourself the time, save yourself the embarrassment. Have you ever seen those videos where those dudes can't pay the bill? You do not want that stuff to happen to you. I've, 
I have had a couple scares in my life, okay? I was really desperate, you know, really liked the girl, wanted to like impress her and all that shit, and may have, you know, under budgeted as, as much as I thought I would, okay? But I had a couple scares, but you know, some of my homies helped the brother out, you know, shout out to the Brodies, okay? So just don't even risk it, because then you're gonna, you're gonna save yourself the anxiety as well. You know, each time somebody orders something, now you're starting to calculate in your head, do you have enough? Do you have this amount? Do you have, don't do it, bro. Save yourself the time, energy, anxiety, and embarrassment. Just hear me out. Just try not to do it. I know you want to go out with her, but bro, believe me, go out with women when you know you have the money for it, when you know you are ready, when you know you are, you know, when, when you know you are more established and you don't have to worry about the unnecessary things because you're probably already going to be nervous when you go on the date with her anyway. And then on top of that, you're going to be worried if you can pay for the, the, the dinner. Just save yourself the stress, okay? So if you guys went Dutch, and she paid half of it, just know that there's a high chance that she may not contact you. I'm not saying every single woman out there is the same and then, you know, they don't fuck with that or they won't contact you. Maybe there's some women out there that have. Depends how much she likes you. Depends how much she fucks with you. But me personally, I don't care how much a girl, you know, says she likes me or how much I can tell she likes me. I'm just gonna pay for the whole thing. It makes me feel better. It's a nice ego booster for me just because I feel like I'm taking the lead. And you know, that kind of prefaces how the relationship can move forward, all right? So that's another one. And the last but not least, number four. Guys, she just wasn't into you like that. She used you for a dinner date. Yes, she used you for the infamous dinner date. Guys, there are some women out there who it didn't, doesn't really matter what you said, you know, how you guys got on the date. She already knows from the moment that she met you, the first couple minutes, if she was gonna fuck with you or not, if she was gonna let you hit, if she sees potential in a relationship, she knows all of this. And sometimes some guys find themselves in the category of dinner date only. It has happened to the best of us. No matter how handsome a guy is out there, he wasn't always that handsome. There was a point in time where he looked a certain way and he got stood up he got uh, ghosted or he got used for a dinner date. Dinner date is probably the most common one. All right. That's just the reality of it. I don't really have to go too much into detail because you guys can already understand, you know, how that goes. You know, they, they make it seem as if they like you, they lead you on. And then next thing you know, after the first dinner date, you never hear back from them again. I saved that one for last because that's really the most obvious one, but sometimes it just, it could just be, they just wanted food. And it's hard to tell um, in the earlier stages of your dating life because you can kind of catch the energy. Even sometimes when a guy is texting or a girl, talking to her on the phone, they can read her energy. They low-key knows she's lo probably not feeling him all like that. So he tries his best to try to impress her more try to uh validate her more thinking that it'll make him look better but really it doesn't make a difference it makes you look more corny and that just turns her off even more but she's still gonna keep you around because she wants that fucking dinner date all right and that's pretty much all it is guys pretty straightforward i want it to be straight and concise and just give it to you guys the way it is man there's no sugar coating it so if you are doing these four things make sure you stop it completely or learn from it and know how to use it to your advantage later on in the future when you're going on other dates me personally a lot of times i invite women over to my place i can't even remember the last time i went on a dinner date if i'm being quite honest with you i really gotta like the girl and then even if i do it's not going to be anything that's going to hurt my pockets because right now i'm trying to vet how she is is she worth it do i see a relationship with her is she just you know, for casual meetings only. I got to know based off this first date, so I'm not going to blow a whole fucking bag to impress somebody I might not even see after tonight. Don't do that, guys. Don't be that guy. All right? But anyway, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Man, I'm getting a lot of views on my channel, but you guys are not subscribing, man. Subscribe for your boy, all right? I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. I've been doing a lot of things outside of this, but... 
I told myself, I got to keep giving you guys content regardless of how busy I am um, outside of this YouTube space. And that's what I'm doing. But man, if you guys could subscribe for your boy, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bourbon Effect out. Peace out.